4v4 in this area, four players are going to be resting on the outside. The keepers will always play in the goals, but there'll be different conditions on each game. We mixed in with a lot of small-sided games with different conditions. So most of them were four against four um, with outside men, but for instance, for the first game we played with a high offside line to make the teams stretch each other out, so then you could try and open up and play through. Play! Blue ball, blue ball, blue ball. He's onside. Well played, Kieran. Well done. Use that offside line. Stretch the play. Finish, Dan. Finish. Good finish. Play. Stay high. Stay high, Chris. It's probably you. You're the highest. You'll have to stay up there. Stretch him. Um, then we went to one where you could, you had to be in your own attacking half to score. So once you'd played your pass, you couldn't stay still. You had to keep going on and carry on with your run. Everyone had to go forward. Can also use that as a, as a fitness exercise as well. <laughs> now, stop there. The rule is what? You've got to all be in the half. So if, hang on, if you're struggling for your team to get in and it's still building up a play in there, what might you have to do? You can't really play. You can't play forward quickly and early though, can you? You might have to be patient, start again with your keeper, let them get your shape, then you can build in. You can catch them quickly on the break and play in there if what? If you've got numbers where? In your attacking half. So think about that now that you're playing. Off you go, play. Clever, play. Oh, was he in? Must have been close. Must have been close. When the game changes in there, that's where you might have to change your game. If you can't shoot from distance, we might be playing a team who don't shoot from distance. We have to make sure we're compact and not let them play through us.